is Mud Honey with Touch Me I'm Sick from their 1988 debut, Super Fuzz Big Muff. My name is Bean, and welcome to Battle of the Band. We're on day 48 of the Butthole Surfers Tournament, and we've got two songs from the 80s going head to head. If you're new to this channel, and you're wondering what we're doing, basically it's a tournament. So we took every single Butthole Surfers track that I could find, and we put it into a March Madness style tournament bracket uh, with single eliminations. So basically, songs will face off head to head until we have a winner at the very end. Um, so there'll be like, you know, the quarterfinals and the semifinals and all that in there too. Uh, I do link the tournaments down below. I keep forgetting to mention that in the videos, but they're linked down below. You could check out the tournament brackets in real time if you'd like to. Let's get into it. Today we have Wichita Cathedral, and that's off of the uh, Butthole Surfers debut EP that came out in 1983. And this is actually the second of two songs that comprise the first recordings that the band made with their longtime and I think still drummer, King Coffee. Uh, there's an interesting quote from Paul Leary of uh, Coffee's introduction to the band on Genius.com that I enjoyed. He says, about two-thirds of the way through the sessions, King showed up. We knew he was going to be our drummer. He came stumbling in without any shoes, and he didn't have a kick drum, so we knew it was going to be, like, a perfect match. We'd sit and play with the Hugh Beaumont E. We thought he was cool with that band. He played standing up. So yeah, this is the second song that they recorded with him. Uh, so I know, like so far, everything off this EP has been fantastic. I really love this EP. Just super like uh, hardcore punk with a Texas edge. And that's going up against a song from five years later called I Saw an X-Ray of a Girl Passing Gas. Um, that's cool. <laughs> They don't really have much on Genius.com for this one. This is track three, and uh, yeah, it came off of the 1988 album, Hairway to Steven. I ran over to songmeetings.com, because sometimes that's got some funny stuff in there. And I think the most useful one on here um, comes from Cleto5. They just posted this this year. Enjoy drifting and drifting awesome cars. Explore beautiful maps. Find your favorite drift locations. Do experiments with car tuning and join the drifthunters.co community. So if that sounds like your kind of bag, try that out. So let's just get, get into the songs. First up, Wichita Cathedral.
just fun so far every like i think every song on this ep has made me chuckle and that's a good sign i mean butthole surfers is really trying to be kind of like <clears throat> i mean butthole surfers is clearly trying to make you laugh a lot of the time um and this album is where i think they truly did it the best so far like at least as far as like first time listening to it now i guess i don't remember how much i laughed the first time i listened to electric larry land or or uh weird revolution but i laughed at shit like that it's a funny song so up next we have i saw an x-ray of a girl passing gas
it really is about like kind of when did you start listening to butthole surfers like what kind of sound do you get because like those are two wildly different songs um i know that uh hairway to steven was supposedly when they started going in with more um of an idea of what they wanted each song to be according to what i've been reading uh and Wichita Cathedral sounds like they just kind of made it up on the spot with King Coffee, or like they maybe that's just when he joined in, but like I mean it sounds like they he came in there, they recorded that song and it was done pretty quick. <laughs> Where they probably spent some time on I saw an X-ray of a girl passing gas. They probably I could see him going through a few takes on that one to get it just right. If they've got the time and money to do it in the studio, right? It's like you could tell their drug of choice kind of changed as they were going too. Like uh, Wichita Cathedral and a lot of that earlier Butthole Surfers stuff just sounds like it's like fueled by booze and maybe some speed, uh, maybe some weed. It doesn't sound super psychedelic. Uh, but then you get into stuff like the well, Hairway to Steven especially, that sounds like an acid-fueled album. They were on LSD that whole time, I bet. Um, just look, look at the cover. It's like got this double exposure over here, like... Uh, they just thought it looked goofy, and I don't know. I haven't done a whole lot of acid, but I did a lot of mushrooms, and I was real obsessed with faces then. <clears throat> ah, it's a tough one. It's two completely different butthole surfers sounds. Wichita Cathedral made me laugh, which is pretty funny. It actually made me chuckle out loud, which a song called I Saw an X-Ray of a Girl Passing Gas, you would assume would do that, but that one really didn't. Um, I still don't know what the lyrics are about on uh, fucking Hairway to Steven, though. But it had some really cool jamming out. Like, there was some really awesome, like, psychedelic jamming going on there. And, uh, I mean, Wichita Cathedral is just kind of like... It's really fun, but I don't know if I'd call it super great. I don't know. It's just really tough. I don't even know what to say. Um, well, I'm really on the fence about it still, but I think I'm going to give that one to I saw an x-ray of a girl passing gas. Uh, it does have more of the butthole surfer sound that I'm more familiar with and it has that really cool jam out at the end I still don't really even know what the lyrics are about but does that even matter they're on they're on more than LSD <laughs> so I don't know yeah I got nothing to say about I I'm at a loss for words with that one. It's just really hard to decide, and I think I, uh, I'm i just going to go with it. Yeah, let's do... I saw I saw an x-ray of a girl passing gas. Uh, and let me know what you think about it. We have social media. I have Instagram, Twitter. There's um, Facebook. There's a Reddit now. Sort of subreddit. Uh, I do link the songs down below if you want to check them out on their own. I also link... Uh, or I'll... I will also link that Mud Honey song down below. So you can listen to that entirely if you'd like to. I just played like a minute of it here. Uh, like this video if you like this video, and subscribe if you've got time to do that. And share this video with anyone you might know that might like this kind of content. Uh, I don't see any other music tournaments out there, and I know there's other people that like music, and there's other people that like tournaments. So let's let's get talking about it. Speaking of talking about it, you can comment down below and let me know what your choice would have been. Um, or just comment any any weird thing you feel like it. Some people have just been commenting things that, uh, well, they're fun. <laughs> I really enjoy them. Let's just say that. Thanks for all the comments. I love y'all. I love y'all. <laughs> um, that's all I really have to say about the Butthole Surfers today. Let's move on and get onto the Beatles next. See you in just a few minutes. Promise? Promise you'll swing by? On your, uh, your feed that you might... Like, who knows what they're doing here. Stopped, uh, or...
That sounded awkward. It's a tournament stuff. It's a tournament. It's the airplanes. So, I don't know how to say it. 